Press Day, two days before the fire out of Patton 34. Some of my favorite footage on the, shed, on the set, especially at the end. Um, the crew, uh, Gus Grissom was one of the original seven astronauts selected in 1959. He was born April 3, 1926 in Mitchell, Indiana, had two brothers and one sister. He enlisted as an aviation cadet as a high school senior during World War II and reported for duty in August of 1944, was discharged in November of 45, and went back to Indiana where he worked in a bus body shop. Realizing that's not what he wanted to do for the rest of his life, he decided to return to school at Purdue. He graduated in 1950 with a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering, giving credit to Betty and his wife, who had married uh, Betty Moore in July of 45 for making his degree possible. Now, he re-enlisted in the Air Force, went to Korea, where he flew 100 combat missions, earning the Air Medal, the Air Medal with Cluster, and Distinguished Flying Cross. And um, then went to test pilot school um, after coming back from Korea at Edwards Air Force Base. And after that became an astronaut. He flew two missions before being assigned to Apollo 1, uh, Liberty Bell 7, the second U.S. space flight, the suborbital Mercury flight, and Gemini 3, the first uh, Gemini flight, uh, first flight of the Gemini series that two men flew with uh, John Young. Now, Ed White was born in San Antonio, Texas, on November 14, 1930. He was an Air Force Lieutenant Colonel and received flight training in Florida and Texas following graduation from West Point. He spent three and a half years in Germany with the fighter squad, flying F-86s and F-100s, then went to Edwards as a test pilot in 1959. Now, he was named to the next nine group of astronauts, the second group selected in September of 1962. Uh, before Apollo 1, he flew on Gemini 4 in 1965, made the first spacewalk by a U.S. astronaut. Here, Gus pulled his water wings and played his water wings on the way back over to the truck. Um, and he um, flew on Gemini 4 in 65, first U.S. spacewalk. It was outside the spacecraft for 21 minutes. Now, on this footage, the reason uh, there are, are repeats is there are several different cameras that this footage was taken, from which this footage was taken. And so to see all the angles, you see this repeated a couple of times. Now, Roger Chaffee was born February 15, 1935. He's from Michigan. He received a BS in um, aerospace engineering from Purdue University in 1957. He entered the Navy. Now, in January 1963, he entered the Air Force Institute of Technology at Wright Patterson Air Force Base to work on a master's in science and reliability engineering. Chaffee was selected in the third group of astronauts in October of 1963, and Apollo 1 would have been his first space flight. Again, this is January the 25th, 1967, two days before the fire out of Patton at 34. It's a press day. Here you see their, uh, their spacesuits, which are very similar to the Jiminy spacesuits. Uh, not uh, so similar to the later Apollo spacesuits.
you can see the blockhouse at Pat 34. 